Here's another conventional tool that can really mess you up if you do it wrong, but with the proper application of moment arms and biomechanics can merely be tedious. The snow shovel. Now, careless technique has you lifting the snow with your arms and then either tossing it forward or twisting to the rear. This is risky on your back for two reasons. Okay, first, you're lifting the load not just at arm's length, but through an extended moment arm, so it feels and acts heavier than its actual weight. Now this shifts your center of gravity towards the load, which should make you fall face first into the snow, since your center of gravity is now outside of your base of support. Now usually, you don't, because the small deep muscles around the spine contract to counter the load, but the extreme torque and high repetition set you up to strain these muscles. And if you slouch as you're shoveling, that situation gets worse. And then if you twist ballistically to empty the shovel, you put your discs at risk because while the spine allows rotation, it's not particularly strong at it. Here's how you would shovel in a biomechanically congruent fashion taking full advantage of the moment arms while protecting your spine area. First, chop the snow into a manageable amount and then slide the shovel underneath. Next, square your feet under your hips like you're about to squat. With the handle of the shovel resting across your thigh and your weight leaning into the grip, you're going to squat. Now here would be the load, here would be a long moment arm, here would be a fulcrum, a short moment arm, but your body weight acting through the short moment arm helps lever the shovel up. Now you use your free hand as close as you can get to the load and stand straight up. The front arm doesn't bend, don't lift with your biceps, just hold on. So now this hand becomes the fulcrum, the snow is the load, a short moment arm, the fulcrum, a long moment arm, and this arm acts as a strut absorbing the upward motion. So your body weight resisting through this long moment arm is easily enough to counter the relatively small load of snow acting through the short moment arm. You're in balance. There's no shift in your center of gravity, no compensation by the muscles around your spine, theoretically no back strain. To finish the rep, your hand and foot on the same side move together. So if you're going to dump to the right, you step to the right. If you're going to dump to the left, step to the left. You're going to turn your body, not twist, until the very end when you do twist. So to save your energy for your workout, to protect your back, that's how you do it. Or a snowblower works too. Coming in 2010, Optimal X, the home workout, and Biomechanics for Better Workouts, a trainer's guide, both in manuals, videos, and blogs. Thank you for your support this year.